Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for watching. Between the 29th and the 30th, there was 88 earthquakes. They have 90 listed on this map. Those of you that follow me and support me will remember this here is one of the resurgent domes for the uh, Yellowstone caldera that you get to see on the webcam. Yellowstone has two resurgent domes where most volcanoes have one resurgent dome. That's where the magma is rising up and we have ground deformation. We've got the Sour Creek resurgent dome, which is kind of northeast of uh, Yellowstone Lake. And then you got the one that's a camera um, over here for the um, Old Faithful webcam. Here you can see some of the fault lines. I want to cover the tilt, the uplift, and subsidence that's going on. Um, borehole 205 for Norris Junction. You can see here how we have subsidence. And this is for the last seven days. Yellowstone Volcano is only one of five volcanoes that they are tracking this movement. Norris Junction has two uh, monitors. Uh, 205 for some reason, this is a borehole, is no longer online. Well, it's online, but... Um, not available for the public it seems it's not readily available it was established by unavco here you can see the borehole and it says removed inoperable but it's still available if it wasn't available i wouldn't be able to get this data okay here we got it There's been a lot of boreholes that the University of Utah has removed. Here we have borehole 9504, Norris Junction, another one. This is for the last seven days, and it's showing subsidence. Now, what's going on from what I was looking at? Here we got the last seven days and all the earthquakes. Each dot would cause uplift. But, yeah... Maybe in this case it caused subsidence. I don't know. Um, yeah, they're hiding all the data. They're not really being forthcoming in what they're saying. This is for the last 30 days. So what I noticed in the Yellowstone Lake area, it looks like the ground is dropping. We're up over here in the Madison River area. Here we got the Madison River um, location on this map. It is rising. Granted, the ground goes up and down in different areas it breathes, but we definitely don't want subsidence where it drops in the area of the uh, domes because the last time that happened, um, that's when the two calderas uh, resurgent domes collapsed and we had a major eruption. So this area is dropping, and it's been dropping for about a month. Those of you that follow me will remember how I recorded, showed the earthquakes in this area, and how the ground was dropping, and this area was rising. Now, this area up here, when Yellowstone erupted, had its major eruption uh, 350,000 years ago. This is where it stopped. It did a counter-unzipping, uh, counterclockwise unzipping uh, of the caldera, and then the two resurgent domes collapsed. I'm not saying that's what's happening, but... It's something to watch for. Panther. Now, this is a monitor up by the Montana border. This one is still rising. This is north of the Madison River area. And this is activity in the last seven days, um, the last 30 days. Here we have the monitor for Grant, which is on the western side of Yellowstone Lake. That would be like in this area of the map. This is a borehole. Again, these are very deep wells under the ground. Oh, probably about 500 or deeper, 500 feet below the surface. This is a grant for the last seven days showing all its activity. The trend of the magma under the ground is going east. But if you look at the ground, it's actually rising in the west. And then the last 30 days. A lot of earthquakes, huh? Well, they had 88, 
since the twenty ninth yeah in two days the tilt meter for yellowstone lake x is north y is east last seven days and then the last 30 days see how it's dropping now the madison river area where these earthquakes have been occurring after that uh, magnitude what 3.1 it was and remember that one geologist said that uh, they would get concerned when yellowstone started having magnitude 2 or greater earthquakes and remember uh, Yellowstone within the area of the caldera would not take a large earthquake for an eruption probably a five somewhere in that area within the caldera now outside of the caldera they could have larger ones but within the caldera um, it wouldn't take a large earthquake because the ground is so brittle see this is showing uplift in the last 30 days and we'll go back up here to the last week water temperatures at tantalus creek yeah we got a, a spike it's been rising but that could be due just to the weather itself but we'll keep an eye on it it is currently 53 degrees there at yellowstone uh wind is about seven miles an hour and it's supposed to be partly cloudy until next week thursday so here we got tantalus creek the water temperature at fire hole river at old faithful that's been rising too since the 26th notice that here at fire hole river at west yellowstone notice the spike it suddenly took on the 26th now i could see you know the snow the melt runoff um yeah uh but this much of a jump now this monitor, Yellowstone River at Yellowstone Outlet. Notice the spikes during the time, same time as the earthquakes. Right there. Another monitor there at the park, Lamar River, uh, near the Tower Ranger Station. Yep, see the 26. It wasn't a gradual increase. It was a dramatic increase. South Fork of Shishun River near the valley, uh, Wyoming. Now this is still close to the park or in the park. And again, see the spike there yesterday? And we got another spike here uh, between the 28th and the 29th. And the spike on the 29th. Same time as those earthquakes. Water temperature at Madison River near West Yellowstone. Now, this is where we got the uplift going on. And again, look at the uplift that was going on. Actually, it looks like it started around the 24th. Um, the temperature increased. And this is the area of the uplift. And again, you can see the spikes during the time of the earthquakes. All right, so here we have the borehole, a very deep well. This is what it was showing. This is the activity it was doing yesterday at Norris Junction. Um, yeah, there was a lot of activity going on. Like I said, um, altogether there was 88 earthquakes. Um, Congress wants USGS to have someone monitoring um, Yellowstone 24-7. Each line here in red is all the activity that it was showing. That the computer picked up um, but anyways going back to Congress they want someone on the weekends to monitor what is happening there at Yellowstone because they realize there is a threat that activity could um, start up um, could erupt um, on the weekend and they don't have anyone monitoring the weekends I am limited right now to just two monitors that I was able to uh, pull files for because um, many of the uh, monitors are not working. Using the thumbnails here, you can see all the monitors that went down. And they are not working. See that? Yeah, Holmes Hill, Maple Creek, Horse Butte, Purple Mountain, Mary Lake, Pelican Cove, Joseph Coat, Mira Plateau. And only one borehole is working. Now, the other ones, a couple of them, um, one of them, um, is working. I got one um, for Lake Butte 
that is working but you can see the activity that is going on I'll show you that monitor after I show you this one for uh, Yellowstone Lake now this is again this is all the activity um, and then today this is what it's showing it has settled down a little bit but we do have earthquakes that are not being reported uh, maybe they'll come in um, what Monday and here we got blobs of magma that's coming in there's a signature harmonic tremors volcanic tremors I'll pull this over so you can see this and the time this is a um, universal time yeah see that we got harmonic tremors going on and there's the earthquake for today brought up hot gases there's more blobs of magma that came in yeah this is an actual scientific term see all the earthquakes now the last earthquake they reported was yesterday a 0 0.1 at 2007 here's one at 2137 that they are not reporting um, a little tiny earthquake and what else we got here uh, 2007 so it's that one probably right there that is the last one that they are reporting there's a signature they are not reporting this one they're not reporting that one or that one or that one or that one actually there's a series of them there let's look at the spectrogram um, they're not reporting that one 2137 and let's see yeah all these all these throughout here they're not reporting me pull this over for you um, let me pull this over close that out so I can get to this small um, series right here of, of small earthquakes there we go I'll look at the signature but Congress wants them to start working I guess they requested that they work on the weekends but they don't do that Yeah, they go home and um, hopefully self-quarantine but they're not doing it see this one here's marked in red for today yeah and I pulled these files at about 11 o'clock my time well I got done pulling them 11 o'clock my time which is central daylight time here we have the monitor for Yellowstone Lake Little West Thumb using Google Earth here's a location let me bring this out or over here actually this earthquake actually showed up a little bit stronger over here than it did on the Norris Junction monitor which leads me to believe that this earthquake occurred over here here we can see the hot magma um, the gases that came up those are the lighter lines and this is today universal time and I'll show you that they're not reporting see this starts um, universal time down here and we got all the magma that was coming up see that the harmonic tremors blobs of magma that, that was coming up today or is coming up today let me pull this down a little bit so you can see this is what it was showing when I pulled the files at um, 11 o'clock all right so we'll come back up you can see uh, now the, the magma as I've talked before at Yellowstone Lake comes in from two different areas we got the Snake River Plateau over here it comes in goes across goes down and we also got it where um, it comes in from the Gulf of California and it comes up but both places it comes down um, up by the uh, Sour Creek Resurgent Dome goes under the lake and then also travels up filling the resurgent dome remember back what was it 2015 that they found out um, that the uh, amount of magma um, there at Yellowstone's caldera was 
enough to fill up the um, Grand Canyon over 11 times from bottom to top. Here we got the Snake River Plateau where it comes in and then we got the other magma plume that comes up. And see how they join up here? Let me make this a little bit smaller for you to get a bigger scope of this. So this is the activity that's going on at Yellowstone Lake. Yeah, lots of magma coming in. And we'll bring it up to what it was showing yesterday. Get it up here. Here we go. Now the last earthquake they reported, yeah, harmonic tremors, was, let me pull this over, at, what was it, 2007. Now this is 2045. Let's go over to is that it right there? Let's see. 2037. Uh, maybe it's up here. 2013. 2008. There we go. Right there. You can see it. Right there. That's the last one they reported. But, yeah, there's all kinds of other stuff. See that? Let me pull it over. And then today, you know, like I said, all this here. And this is Lake Butte. This is not Norris Junction. See that? 2302. Yeah. Um, got a little one there. 2306. A little bit bigger one. Uh, 43 minutes after midnight for uh, uh, universal time. And then we'll come down. And this one here not being reported. They'll probably do it, what, maybe tomorrow? I don't know. Like I said, they're gone for the weekend. Uh, maybe Monday. Yeah. Hoping everyone will forget about this. Yeah, lots of activity. Come down here. Just look at the spectrogram. Yeah, it'd be nice if the other monitors were working, but no one's there to flip a switch or push a button to get them working again. Looks like Old Faithful's just finishing up from an eruption. Would have been nice if I caught that earlier. But anyways, that's all I have for you right now. If any thoughts or comments or questions, yeah, heaven help us if it decides to um, go off on a weekend. Um, what are the chances, right? Seven days a week and... Two of those days, no one works. Uh, please put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.